well, my sobs might be having nightmares and going back to the co part that it came from. So, um, but that's not what we're here about. Sobs doing great, just out of alignment, really bad. But we're going here to pay for a truck. Oh, uh, Ford Denali, it's not a truck, but yeah, we're here at Rip Off Central. It's $500 fee, so I'm gonna go in here and pay in pennies. I wish, but yeah, here's co part. This is for all y'all that don't see it. And let's just go ahead and remind you that sale price seventeen hundred was my last bid. This is all bull crap right here. Fees almost four hundred dollars. So, yeah. So that's what you get when you buy from crap part down here. This is the China Grove location. So, but yeah, hopefully we get this freaking thing transported. I don't have to go pick it up because. Well, I can't pick it up because I don't have a truck anymore, so... Yeah, we'll just have to get it transported. So, um... I guess I'll see you guys when it comes in. So, peace. Did I mention the fact that somebody stole the keys out of it? So, here we are at Team Chevrolet in Salisbury. We're going here and speak to Thomas for the key. So, just know that this is what happens if you buy from Copart 90% of the time. Remember, if you guys actually want to see what's happening today, add me on Snapchat at LoganHaines661. Post stuff every day that what's happening. It's just all kinds of go karts, everything. But yeah, got a key for sixteen bucks. So yeah, sixteen seventy eight. Got it right here. So um, key thief at Copart. You really cost me twenty dollars. So good job on you. And they already gave it a run and drive. So you're pretty freaking stupid. Like why wouldn't somebody bid on it? Why if it ran bad? Why would you steal the key out of it? Insurance company's not gonna do that. And yeah, it was running when it was wrecked. So. I guess I really will see you guys when it comes in now. So dope. Well, it just got here. Honestly, I haven't, I haven't even looked inside of it, so I don't even know what the interior looks like. Oh, freak. No way. The freaking keys are in it. Dope. Ooh, we got TV too. Somebody took the third row out. Dang, this carpet's nasty. Let's see the oil change sticker. Oh, freak. Walmart. 3,000 over. So, gotta do that today, too. So, yeah, the coolant jug's busted. XM. Has XM on it. But, yeah, it's about to be over half. We don't want that. But, yeah, we got another 678 up on freaking hours. 6244. Dope. Another good candidate for oil, oil pressure. But yeah, it's, it's pretty mint other than that. I already ordered the coolant chug. It's $55 at the Chevy dealer, so... Yeah, but this, this dope trim, though. So we should have to drive it once we get that in the hood fixed. Let's get the oil changed. So yeah, oil pressures. I don't want to say anything about it, but this is annoying at you know, how that seat goes. But yeah, I'm going to wait for the coolant jug come in and try not to freeze to death in the process so yo about to put this coolant jug on just like this boom so yeah I don't think we have any leaks I think we're full too starting to get cool into the hose I can feel so that's gonna have to be 10 <laughs> clear AF yeah, from like the back ow it's hit my head so I guess this thing will run at 210 I guess I guess so I'll check the coolant jug on it Doing some frame repair with a strap and a pole. Yeah. <laughs> moved a lot. How was that frame repair? What? It worked. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> See slide that. marks right there. Yeah, so it's out of transmission. Well, that's nice and black, isn't it? Should I put 2050 in it? Okay, I just gotta take out that oil filter. 
Can you tell it's been hit under here? Came in the mail today. Sight. We're gonna leave that one in 2016 where it should have been left. But my finger came in with a dent in it and I cut my finger on the end. So yeah, but um, I can tell that's for the denying because they ordered some parts as well. I can just see where it says it right there. Certifit. So yeah, I don't know how to put my seats down, so. Um, we got some updated news on this thing this morning. We might actually be selling this thing. Holy freak, that's two-tone. But yeah, we might be selling this thing to, because if you go back to... Oh, dope. If you go back to where I bought the Saab, though. You'll see my, my dad's old black truck, you know. Just got it priced back for 6000 so I might sell and buy it. We out here. So yeah, let me go ahead and drop these off. Got the paint. Dope. He needs to finish that MF LS swap though. He needs to finish it. I know somebody agrees with me. XM is fire AF. Just saying. Hey, but check out this Saba keyboard. Pretty dope. I can't wait to slam mine like that. The roof racks too. I already got roof racks for mine, but still. <laughs> Alright, so we got Shorty out here in the garage. Car wash did really good on Shorty. So, um, I don't know if you remember this. Yeah, it's still there just a little bit, but it wipes off now. Yeah, shorting looks really good now. Ouch, just hit my leg. Look how prone the wheels are, though. It's crazy. So, um, made a pit stop by the shop. Got my awesome. Yeah, we got a pretty good size mess to clean in this thing. Not my mess. Just the only thing of mine in here is tools. But yeah, we gotta clean the trunk out and everything, so pretty dope. Wish I had the third row seat too. But, I don't have to haul anybody around like that, so... Makes it even more dope, but it would help it if I do have to sell it. And I just got this picture, so it looks like my parts are painted. You can see the bumper and the fender, so dope. We'll go pick those up tomorrow. And I think that's where we're gonna leave it for today, for this thing. I think it's 100% transformation today. Tomorrow should be 300% transformation. The car wash didn't get that off the hood, but we'll put that one on the hood. So, um, I guess I'll order the grill for it Tuesday. Put the parts on tomorrow, so I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Here, to pick up my parts, so let's go ahead and get those loaded up and head back to the house. Dope. So I guess let's go ahead and get these loaded. Alright, batteries on charge. I'm going to pop the hood, I guess. And get these fresh parts on. Ouch. So, um. I guess we'll look at this bumper. I'm not sure why my camera's so blurry. But, um, I don't see anywhere other than there that it bolts. And on the bottom. So, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. Got them. Yeah, it was just one of those things that happened while I had it in my hand. I couldn't grab the camera, so, um, but yeah, here it is. It's about to fell down. But yeah, here it is. Um, camera crappy, if camera quality is not bad enough for you now, it's probably about to get worse because it is getting dark outside. And now my camera's dying, so, you may just be back on the cracked iPhone, but that won't matter to you. But yeah, I got y'all. For sure. Yeah, it's got 63% and somebody's calling me.
Yeah, as you guys saw, we actually got this freaking thing to line up. You remember how far away that was? It scared me because I'm sure you heard that fan. But it's good now. So, um, just tighten these. About to put the inner fender on. We're gonna slap that on. Go to the dealership tomorrow. Get this little headlight trim. $15. So, pretty dope. I keep thinking today's Sunday. Today's Monday. Camera died, so I'm giving a quick update before it cuts back off. But, um, yeah, we got the bumper on. That's why I'm trying to go fast talk. So, I'll update you guys when I'm finished for tonight. It's been a while since we last spoke, but I actually got everything done just about. Got my headlight piece, got my headlights in. I actually left my camera here the other day and I haven't been back until today to get it, which was three days ago. So, but yeah, we're waiting for the grill to come in. I did order that yesterday, so dope. Today is January the 12th. I've already sold the Denali. I actually am buying that truck two days from now, so you guys will be seeing that. So it's bye to the Denali.